Hey, watch this. Watch this. Let me make it more plain for you, right? Because what the brother's going into is this is about the Israelites, the Jews, right? What the Jews look like today that you could think of. Like if I was to say, there's a Jew walking down the street, what do you look like to you? Right. But what the Bible say the Jews look like? He's he not wrong. He's not wrong. I can tell you, like, ah, this is some, some BS. Watch this, I'm gonna show you something. What's your race? Okay, what's your dad? Okay, so your dad is black. Uh, numbers one and 18. So you are what your father is, right? Because who carries the seed? Right. Your father implanted, his, you impregnated, impregnated your mother, and you were the fruit of it, right? So you are what your father is. Now I'm sure you have some of your mother's characteristics, right? But if I take an apple seed, and plant one in America, one in China, one in Japan. Are uh, those in Japan and China called Chinese or J Japanese apple tree? It's just called an apple tree. Now, based on the land or the soil I planted it in, it may vary in its appearance, but it's still an apple tree. Right. And you are what your father is, though your appearance may vary, right? Now watch this, because this Bible is about nationality. It's about a race of people that the Bible says will be oppressed. Read. It's not a. It's not a. a, a religious book. It's a book of prophecy and history. And I'm going to show you some prophecy and history. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Now she knows she knows she come from Cedar Five. We don't need to get that. Now, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Now, what is your race based on what your father is? Okay, in 1985, Reverend Jesse Jackson said that that's what we are. What were you before 1985? Because in 1985, or oh, before 1985, you weren't called an African American. What were you before then? Probably a nigger, maybe a negro, maybe colored, uh, slave. None of those things, your nationality changes more than some of these people out here change their underwear, is my point. And everybody else can pinpoint exactly what their race is and it's attributed to a country. Now let me show you that in the Bible, what happened to the real Jews, read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse four. And thou, even thyself. This is talking about Jeremiah and his people, you Jeremiah, even you and your people shall what? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. Meaning when you ask them what their race is, they don't know. They say things that was only given to them by the very people that put them in slavery. That's why your first answer was African American. But people that enslaved you call you that. You didn't call yourself that. Your people didn't call themselves that. So why today do we call ourselves something that we inherited from slavery? Right. Because the Bible said the Jews would what? Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage Read. that I gave thee. That God gave them, because God gave them holidays and heritages. Why you celebrate Christmas? Where you get that from? The winter sauce. Don't All right, that, there you go. Excellent, I'm glad you don't. Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Why? Who told you that it was okay to celebrate Thanksgiving? I give you a hint. The same people that slaughtered the Indians, same people that enslaved your people, they celebrated Thanksgiving because they were thankful for being able to come over here and capitalize off the land and being able to conquer the land. Now we celebrate it. The people that enslaved you gave you Thanksgiving. You celebrate birthdays? That's good, you shouldn't, right? What you should celebrate is what God gave you. But my point is, everything that you do was given to you by the same people that put you in slavery. But anything that you and your people did before slavery, you don't even remember. What was your language before slavery? What's your last name? Mason. Mason? Where do you think you got that name from? Probably somebody's plantation. And it was probably seared into your back with an iron. And now, the generations later, you still call yourself, he still calls himself, I still call myself, by the very name that was seared into my shoulder when I was a slave. Because the Jews would what? Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. You go to work every day? Who you work for? You work for yourself? You sure? You don't got like a nine to five nowhere? Right, you got a job. Who probably is the one that has the authority or power to fire you? Do you look like you? Who you look like? Same people that put you in slavery, right? You got to serve him. You got to go work for him nine hours, eight hours a day to get paid by him 
to go and buy food from him, buy water from him, buy housing from him. Right? Give me that Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 48. Because the Israelites was given the whole world. You are greater than everybody. Let me ask you a question. You're an African-American woman. I'm saying that term loosely because you're an Israelite woman, but what woman is better than the so-called African-American woman on the planet? None. Can you think of any? Every other race of women wants to look like you. They try to make their hair, they put Botox in their lips to look like yours. They put injections in their ass to get better figures. They want to look like you, your people, right? What man is bigger, stronger, faster, better than so-called black man? Nobody. The Bible said you above all people and you know that based on how y'all are naturally. Everybody want to be like y'all, but nobody wants the estate you in. And everybody benefits off of you. All of these stores are owned by people that enslaved you. But you can't go in nobody else's community and set up a store. There ain't no black stores in the white community. There ain't no black stores in the Chinese community. There are hair stores owned by Chinese, gas stations owned by Arabs, and grocery stores owned by white people all in your community. But you can't set up nothing in that community. Why? Because the Bible says the Israelites are cursed. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Showing you that the Bible is real because it's talking about you and your people. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Because we sinned against God, man, and we broke his commandments, not religion, he didn't tell us to go and be Baptists and Catholics and Christianity. He didn't tell us to do that. He said, do, keep my commandments. A man's supposed to grow a beard on his face if he can. You young, so you probably can't grow it. But when you can, don't cut it. A woman ain't supposed to be wearing pants. Y'all sleeping together, if y'all mind me asking? You're supposed to marry each other. You're supposed to marry that woman. You're supposed to marry him and honor him and respect him. You're supposed to cherish and take care of her. Right? Otherwise, what y'all doing is going to lead to, more than likely, her being a baby mama, you being a baby daddy, and y'all raising kids in a broken home. Typical stuff. Typical Right. And all that's pushed to you. Why? Why is it? Where is that? Why is that a... Uh, uh, a place where you can go kill your baby in your community. That's right. Why it's not in the white people? Bring it out. Chinese people. You don't. You don't see a Planned Parenthood where you can go kill your baby in their communities. Why? Look at read this. Read this. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy? You gonna serve your enemies for what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. If God sent them against you because you sinned against Him, your people are evil as hell and rebellious. Tell me, I'm lying. What can you tell black people? Right, they rebellious as hell. You can't even tell them something good for them. Hey, look sis, stop twerking. People just, they not gonna respect you. Shut up, I do what I want. Am I lying? But our people are willfully rebellious. We do, we do evil things and then we don't want to be told it's evil. Even if it's to our destruction, don't tell us. I don't want to know. Read. Therefore, thou shalt serve the, thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. For your food, you gotta go to a Chinese man, white man. Here, the brother said, you go buy food from people that don't cook as good as you. Our people go in that store and buy chicken from people that they couldn't, they couldn't cook chicken better than my grandmother on her worst day. But we go up in there and we get a five wing special from people that, they learn how to cook from us in slavery. We cook their recipes. And now they took it. It was like, man, I can make some damn money off this. Good as hell. Now we call it Kentucky Fried Chicken. With a big ass white man face on it like this and a bow tie. But where he get that recipe from? But now, now, the thing that you have naturally, you have to go buy from him. You got to serve him for, for wheat. And hunger. For his food that you specialize in making. Read. And in thirst. If you don't pay a water bill, what they go, water free and fall out the sky like that. But if you don't pay your water bill, what happens to your water? So you gotta pay for, you gotta serve this enemy of yours for food, for water, and in nakedness. What about the clothes you got on? They got your names on them? No, sir. Kanye West just got, fight, got his whole, he got it back, thank God. But they was able to, for a long time, take away that man's clothing. Why? Because you don't control the industry. You don't control the textiles and the resources and the name of the brand. You don't control none of that. You got to serve people for your clothes, for your food, for your drink, read. And in want of all things. And in everything. You get a car. Do you buy a car from your own people? No. You need some credit. You go get it from your own people? What about education? When you want to go to college, you go to a, it, it might be an HBCU, but who runs that historically black college? 
What about when you die and you gotta get put in the ground? Who you gotta go get a death certificate from? No. You gotta go and serve this man for everything you get. Nothing you can get in this world from your own people. You gotta serve the enemy that puts you and your people in slavery for everything. Read. And he shall put And he, read it slow, and he, the same one you gotta serve for everything. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. You got a phone? Look up yoke of iron on Google. Just yoke of iron. And you tell me what I want I want you, sis, because he believe in the Bible. You don't. I'm proving to you that this Bible is real. Type in yoke of iron. No, you type it in. You type it in. That way you know he not playing because he believe in the Bible. You might think he's setting you up. I want you to type it in. Just type yoke of iron. Tell me what pop up. Yoke of iron. Oh, yoke of iron, yoke of iron. Yeah, yoke of iron. The Bible said, and he, your enemy, will just will put a yoke of iron upon your neck until he destroys you. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. what came up, sis? I want you to say it. Come here. Come say it on the mic. What popped up? Oh, you nervous? No, she's not nervous. Don't be nervous, sis. Don't be nervous. I, you can just tell me. You can, you can just tell me, sis. You can just tell me, sis. What popped up? Well, what popped up? What images popped up? What pictures popped up? What, what pictures popped up? Huh? Torture weapon. Torture weapon. Torture. Torture weapon. Who was being tortured with him? Right. How how Google know what the Bible is talking about? Right. Where them torture weapons put on them? Where they place them? Read that again. And they say what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. When you was having yoke chains put around your neck, they were killing you and your babies. Right. They took them off now. They don't have to kill your babies. You will walk into the Planned Parenthood and kill it yourself That's now. That's right. You are destroyed. He don't have to force you to be a slave no more. You will willingly be a slave now. Right. You, a black woman who in slavery was more akin to loving, cherishing, and honoring and respecting her black man in slavery while he was getting hung, while she was getting beaten, raped. They loved each other and was more likely to be married then in slavery than today when they free as ever. Now we no longer mothers and fathers and, and, and husbands and wives. We baby moms and baby daddies in broken home. We are destroyed. The chains came off because like a dog, you put a chain on a dog and have, don't go past that part and he keep yoking himself up. About a month from there, you can take that chain off. That dog is not gonna move, he is, he is smitten in his mind. Going past that point is bad because of what that chain did to him. And black people are no different. They treated you like animals and now you act like animals because you are destroyed. And they took them chains off once they knew. No, 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 no take the chains off. Yo, you crazy, Biff? Them niggas gonna rise up against us. No, no, no. They love us. They hate each other. They'll never hurt harm us. They destroy. They, you, you don't believe me? Take the chains off. They gonna kill each other, kill their babies, and destroy each other. Watch. And we destroy each other because we are destroyed. We, we ain't slaves no more in a conventional sense, but we are very much still slaves mentally because we are the only ones that accept living in the projects. We are the only ones that accept strong black are attributed to black women. No, show me the show me the Asian woman that's walking around talking about she's strong and independent. Show me the white woman walking around talking about she is strong and independent of her man. Or the Arab woman that's walking around talking about she is strong and independent of her man. All that's for you to destroy your household, destroy your family. By destroying the family, we destroy the babies. That's why black women are the only ones walking around talking about how strong, black, and independent they are of their man. You take away the man, the woman and the children out here without protection. You are destroyed. You and your people. Because God said, because of breaking my laws, I'm going to have these evil things happen to them. And then I'm going to have people put chains on their neck in slavery and destroy them. Break their will until they are utterly in subjection like dogs. And then once they like dogs, take the chains off them. They'll destroy themselves. You don't have to. You just sit back and collect the money. That's why our sisters cover up their hair and go into the Chinese store who hates them and put Indian people hair on their head, put a skull cap on to cover up their God-given hair, and then put fake hair on it that comes from other races of people and call it beauty. That's right. When God said, you look like him. I'm, I'm give me 68 and I'm gonna show you that. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 20 and 68. Now watch this. I'm gonna show you another curse in the Bible that happened to us. And you tell me if we're making this up or is the Bible talking about us? We we read you'll forget your identity. We read that you had chains put on your neck until your people were destroyed in the Bible. We all know these things have did these things happen to any other race of people but us. I'm gonna show you something else that happened to only our people. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord 
shall bring thee into Egypt again. Because when the Israelites were being taken out of Egypt to Hamites, Africans, because we're not Africans, that's that's crazy. We're, we're not Africans. We think we are, but we're not Africans. That's why when Kanye said he's a Jew, he went from a billionaire to a millionaire. Why? Why him calling himself a Jew is worth all that trouble? Because he is. The Bible says you're the Jews. You can't know that though. You have to accept being Africans and niggas and things like that. But the Bible said you would go back into Egypt. When we came out of Egypt, we were slaves. God said you were going to go back into Egypt, meaning a different kind of Egypt. Egypt simply means slavery. That's all it means. It means bondage. When you look up that etymology, it means bondage. Bondage means slavery. That's all it means. Right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. You're going to go back into slavery. In ships. Just like this. This is called the transatlantic slave trade. You and your people got over here and everywhere in the world scattered on slave ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and when you got off of those slave ships, like in Virginia, in downtown Shaco Bottom, where there's a slave auction block down there, a historical landmark right downtown in Shaco Bottom, is an auction site where you, I got a big shopping young buck, he's 20 years old, he got shopping muscles, you can get all the work out of him. I got me a nice little bed winch, a good bed winch, good for you and your buddies to get drunk and have your way with her, just downtown in Shaco Bottom. And when you got off them ships, and there, ye shall be sold, to be what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Same enemies that put them iron chains on your neck. When you get off of them ships, you're going to be sold to your enemies for bondmen or slave men and bond women and slave women. Who did that happen to? Right, that's heavy. That's, that's crazy, right? The Bible talking about us. We are the people of the book. And it's, I can show you George Floyd in this Bible and everything. The Bible is your history book. When we say we don't believe in God, it's because white people took that Bible and told us we were trash. Right. And said, Jesus is white, God is white, the Jews are white, and you ain't nothing but a nigga. The Bible Please. talking about us. We got to come back to our true heritage. We're not African Americans. We're not black people. We better than living in the projects. We better than being, being dope boys and basketball players. We are literally the only people that can say we are related to the most high God. The right. Bible doesn't say God loves or cares about everybody. Just one race of people. Get that in Amos as y'all go. Amos 3 and 1. Watch this. I'm going to prove it to you. Because we suffer like this. Nobody else does. God said you would suffer like that because he is our father. Not everybody's. Everybody's not the children of God. Just your race of people. Now I'm going to prove it with the Bible. You never heard this stuff in the Bible. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 2. Read. One. Sorry, one. Verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. From the front to the back of this book, you always hear God talking and pleading to the children of Israel, the Jews, so that we understand who we're talking about. The real Jews. Read. Against the whole family. Against the whole family of Israelites. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. That I saved out of slavery to the Egyptians. Read. Saying, saying what? You only. Hold on. No, the whole world. You only. You only. Your race of people only. Have I known of all the families of the earth? All the families of the earth are every other race of people. The Bible records 18 races in the Bible. God said, You are the only race that I know, that I chose to be mine, to be your God. Read. Therefore, therefore, because I chose you and I only know you, I will punish you. For all your iniquity. That's why you live in the projects and nobody else. That's why you got Planned Parenthoods in your community and nobody else. That's right. That's why in your neighborhood, young boys walking around with choppers and sticks and, and, and every other thing shooting each other. But you don't see that in no other neighborhood. We are being punished by God because we are his children. Just like if you have children, you're not going to whoop my children. You're going to whoop your children. God whooping his children. Right. The other people aren't his children. That's why they don't suffer like we suffer. Because God said, therefore, I will punish you, children of Israel, for your evil. Nation is men leading by example.
His blood! His blood! His blood!